Look, Caleb finished fourth place in MVP voting. Where did you finish at in MVP voting, Angel? So the fact that you didn't get any votes for MVP, how the hell did you get a vote for rookie of the year over somebody who got votes for MVP? This woman has broken so many damn records, you can't even count them shits on, on one side. They had to do double sides of all the records that that woman and broke this damn season. <laughs> Hey, yo, what up? It's your boy Chocolate with the Sexy Body. Welcome to a new episode of Chocolate Plays. Look, we are back. You know what we're doing. We're giving out these reaction videos for that girl, Kayla Clark. And look, man, shout out to everybody that's been rocking with you, boy. I appreciate you so much. We're shooting up that ladder. We're almost to 4K. We're almost to 4K, man. What if we get there for this video? What if we get there for this video? And y'all who's joining in, we can all share, celebrate this together. Celebrate that 4K, guys. Celebrate that 4K. And guys, please. Smash that like button for your boy on this video, man, and attach me to the algorithm, and everybody get to find me. So all the people who keep finding my channel, I'll be like, man, I don't know how you popped up on my feed, but I'm glad you did. I'm glad I did too. So guys, smash that like button so I can keep popping up on everybody's feed, and hit the notification bell so you know when your boy drops videos and live streams. All right, let's get into this thing. Let's get into this thing after that intro. Let's get into this, man. Congratulations, Kaylin Clark. Congratulations for finally being announced the rookie of the year. Something that we have all known and been waiting for them to announce. But what we wasn't waiting for them to announce was that you didn't win the shit unanimously. You mean to tell me that somebody's rabbit ass went out there and voted for somebody else besides you for rookie of the year? A shame. You should be ashamed of yourself. You should have to step down from your position in, in whatever committee, the voting committee it is. You got to get fired or some shit for you to go out there and do that. It ain't got nothing to do with some petty shit. Was it you, Shell Swoops? I bet you it was Shell Swoops. It was either her, Gino, or Don Staley. One of them three people did this shit. Whoever, one of them was on the committee. Because there's no way in hell that you could have picked Angel Reese to get a vote over Kayla Clark with the season that that woman had. The problem was they never talked about it. Then they finally talking about it. And it's like crazy because how many records she broke. It's like, wait a minute. She broke like 62 records. There's a tweet out with her on it, right? She's got it. She's ready. She's holding her hands up. And it's got all these damn records that she broke the entire damn season. She broke rookie and WNBA all-time records. All-time. She's the all-time leading rookie in points. She's the all-time leading assist leader right now in a season. W, look, rookie and WNBA history. The girl went crazy. She's the only person out of all these damn rookies that came to the WNBA. There's thousands of them went to the WNBA. And she's the only one to have a triple-double. She got two of them. She's in a league of her own. This woman deserved way more than just this damn rookie of the year. Now, she finished fourth place in votes for the MVP. And there's only two other rookies that was able to do something like this. And one of them won it. That's Candace Parker. She won rookie of the year and the MVP. Dinosaur, Dinosaur Tarasi, she got... Third place in MVP voting, she won Rookie of the Year. Dinosaur Tarasi's stats was 17 points and 3.4 assists. Candace Parker's stats was 18 points, 9 rebounds, and 3 assists. Kayla Clark finished with 19 points, 5.7 rebounds, and 8.4 assists. The woman was phenomenal this year. She was phenomenal for taking this team that won 13 games last year. To win 20 games this year and a spot in the playoffs, the sixth seed. They ain't, they ain't been in the playoffs since 2016. The impact that this woman has had on the league as far as viewership, guys. Viewership. Look at the numbers right now in the playoffs. The numbers has plummeted since Kaitlyn's no longer in the playoffs. As soon as she got knocked out, all that shit went down. There's 2.5 million people watching these games with Kaitlyn Clark in it. Now we're looking at around 300,000, 400,000 people. Let's go see what the, the game looked like tonight between the Aces and the Liberty. Because when the Fever played them in that stadium, 20,000 people showed up. Let's see if it even gets that close. This is the Caitlin Clark effect, guys. This is the Caitlin Clark effect. And I'm going to tell you, it didn't have to be this way. Because had they not treated this woman the way they did, people would still want to continue to watch this sport. It's just like the people, right, who say you're a fan of Dallas Cowboys. And you got fans of Steelers, you got all these fans out there. But all these fans still tune in to watch the Super Bowl, even though their team is not playing. Why? Because the sport is entertaining. 
and it's not full of bitter and petty people that's like reacting because of emotions. They, they're not targeting people out there. Like this sport is targeting people. Like that league has an agenda and people see right through it and they don't want to be a, they don't want to be a part of it. They see right through the, the charade, the charade, or charade, how do you say it? <laughs> the charade, they see straight through it. And they don't want to be a part of it. And we became a part of it because we moved over there watching Caitlyn play. We moved over there. Now, this video that, that I watched, right? I watched a video with Rebecca Lobo, and she's talking about that she's not surprised that Caitlyn was um, not the unanimous rookie of the year. Because there's 67 people sitting in a room, right? And these 67 people are going to have a difference of opinion. So you say, I, I, of course, one person should have voted for Angel, especially with the season that she had. It was phenomenal. What? What? Guys, take away the rebounding. Take away Angel's rebounding. And there's literally nothing else to her game that, that was going to service a team. The reason why she was rebounding so much because she was getting her own damn missed shots. Go and watch it for yourself, guys. Go watch it for yourself. Yes, yeah, she's aggressive. She's all these things, but damn it, man. She's horrible out there to watch play basketball. Okay, what you say? She's like Bambi. Learn how to walk is is terrible. And I'm, I'm no disrespect. I mean, you can get in the gym and get better because you have the talent. You have the motor. Like you got that motor. So all somebody gotta do is get what you, you got that dog in you, right? I like, get somebody to get what you and get the damn game in you, because your game is terrible. I mean, yeah, you are all over the place, but mm -mm. nothing you did was better than Caitlin. There's no way you deserve the vote over Kaylin. Look, Kaylin finished fourth place in MVP voting. Where did you finish at in MVP voting, Angel? So the fact that you didn't get any votes for MVP, how the hell did you get a vote for Rookie of the Year over somebody who got votes for MVP? This woman has broken so many damn records, you can't even count them shits on, on one side. They had to do double sides of all the records that that woman broke this damn season. What she did for that sport is like a like what Steph Curry did for basketball. The influence on the game. That's what we got to look at. We talk about Kayla Clark. The influence. That's what would have made her MVP. Because Asia has nothing, no appeal that maybe like unanimous. She won unanimous MVP. You mean tell me that Kaya didn't get not one of them damn first place votes? They've been saying that Asia's been the damn MVP since before the first tip off. And we'll talk about privilege. The last of y'all talk about talking about privilege, motherfucker. You've been privileged with the damn MVP before the season even started. This is some this shit is silly. And even her upbringing, go look at where she came from. And she talked about people being privileged. Ain't no damn privilege in the damn in WNBA. Ain't no privilege in none of these damn sports, bro. None of them. The privilege is when you get to go to all these these special schools and camps and shit like that. That's the privilege when you get to go to all these things to make help you develop. That's privilege. Your family did very well. You're privileged. I, I'm shit. I ain't knocking it. Go out there and use it to, to use it to your advantage. But don't talk shit about anybody else when you have a type of privilege. Come on, man. And then you want to run around talking about us being racist. Come on, it's not racist, man. It's not racist. Just people that's just being hateful and in their emotions. Just like whoever the hell voted for Angel to get a damn first place vote for Rick of the Year is in their emotions when they make that damn vote. There's no other way. No other way you could have made a vote against her, guys. Look, that's my time, man. I'm going to wrap this thing up. Congratulations, Kaylin. We already knew you was going to get the Rookie of the Year. Um, you see what's going on now in the damn WNBA with all the viewership. But we're going to see tonight, man. I'm going to go check out the game tonight, Aces versus Liberty, and see how many people turn up. If it ain't 20,000... We, we know that it's not a Kaitlyn game. <laughs> we know it ain't a Kaitlyn game. We know that you guys can't draw a, a box office hit like that. You can't do it, but Kaitlyn can. But I'm going to go check this out just so I can speak on it. I'm going to do a live tonight to speak my mind on this game, man, how I feel go, moving forward with Kaitlyn Clark. You guys, if you are new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Hit that notification bell so you know when boy drops videos. I'm out this thing. Peace. Peace.